Hello everyone, it's Sue from Crafts to Enjoy and welcome to my craft room today and I thank you for tuning in. I'm a UK based independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Today I'm going to do another video for you, take five. So um, I've chosen a couple of stamp sets, I've got Soft Spring, I've got Well Said and I've got a punch which is, uh, very advised I think it's called, I've got um, a rich raspberry pen and I've got a old olive ink pad so that's my five um I am going to be using this and I'll, um this stamp I've chosen so I want to have it coming out of like a vase hence the vase there so I'm going to start by I'm not not really sure where to position this so I'm going to start by doing the va punching out the vase first I've got a scrap of um the uh rich raspberry so I'm just going to punch that out and that's going to be my vase and I want to put I'm going to put that towards the bottom of the card I think uh, I'm not quite sure where it's going to go yet but oh it's going to go that way see good job I had this kind of semi ready where I wanted it to be I'm going to use the um, old olive this old olive is an absolute classic when it comes to most things that's the green that I grab for all the time so I'm going to do that. So it's kind of sitting in a vase, but I needed to get the where it was going to be. So I'm just going to stamp that on there. I wanted to put that vase on a kind of a dimensional. And I think I'm going to put the thanks somewhere. And I'm not sure where I'm going to put it. I'm going to put it there. Oh. I've just gone into the green. I'm going to use the green. Why not? Oh, actually, I tell you, I'm going to change my mind. I'm going to change my mind. I'm going to show you how to use the pen. If you don't have the um, ink pad to match, you can use your Stampin' Right markers to colour in. I nearly forgot this bit. To colour in your, your stamp and give it a little huff, like so. And you can use it how cool is that as an ink i want to actually pop a dimensional on there because um a couple of little dimensionals that's kind of an extra thing but i suppose you have those in your stash anyway don't you i'm just using the the little edgy bits so i'm not too worried about that i wanted to i'm just going to close that up i've got going Get too excited doing these videos. I wanted to just quickly just colour that in a smidge. Actually, let's use it. These these stamp point markers are fabulous because they've got a two ends to them. So they've got let's move that across a little bit. So they've got um like a felt tip end and they've got more of a a right sort of you can write with that as well. So it depends what you're colouring in. If you've got sort of something quite small, you might want to sort of use the the other bit, but uh for me I just wanted to colour a few in I'm not doing them all over because I think when you're looking at nature they're not all the they're, some are still in bud for me some are still in kind of bud so I'm just gonna colour them in a little bit really quickly oh I love this it's so relaxing you can almost just feel the tension just leaving me I just lose myself in what I'm doing and I love it. Um, I'm just going to... I think that should be green or should it be that? I'm not sure. I'm going to colour them in. I should probably find out what flowers these are, but... I'm not sure. I think it's a wisteria. I'm going to have to learn what that looks like a bit. But I think that looks okay. I just want to do a couple more of them on here. And again, if they're not all coloured in perfectly, it doesn't really matter. There's a couple there. I should colour that in. You don't always see what you need to colour in when you're looking at it. And there we go, that's in bud. I think I quite like that. There we go. Now I just wanted to put the um, the vase in. Double check that's going to be sitting in it as well. Can you see what I'm doing there? I hope you can see that. I'm going to put that where I need it to be. So it's kind of sitting on the edge. Quite simple, quite easy. What fun is that? 
So um, I do have a blog. Head, head on over to my blog and there's a shop. Um, click on shop if you'd like to buy anything um, from the products that I've used today. Um, and you can also, there's lots of inspiration over there. Um, search me on the socials. It's Crafts to Enjoy. And also, um, don't forget, to, don't forget to click on subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press on the bell. Click on the bell so you can don't miss out any of my future videos. Thank you very much for watching today. Really appreciate you, appreciate you tuning in. My teeth are not working today. Have a crafty day. Bye-bye.